And welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day, just like all of these villagers in their lovely little house. Uh, but this house is missing important things like a roof, and and I think I need to put a dock outside, so let's go do that. This house is actually looking pretty good, at least inside this one room, assuming you know have a villager walk right in front of the camera, because they have no camera sense at all. But the problem is, Outside, it's all, well, it's still ancient city, and it's dark and creepy, and I have the gamma override on so that I can see easily when I fall in holes, right? Now, I want to take this area here, and I want to add something to it, probably like a, a docks or a loading zone or something out here, which I think will be a great addition to this. And then on top of that... I need to put something on top of that. I need a better roof or something. So I think between these two things, we're going to have a fairly nice project ahead of us today. As I was thinking about this, I did decide I want to go ahead and connect this walkway over. We're basically just going to bridge this over. Actually, it might be faster to do it from down here. All right, and we'll just bridge across this way. Okay. With the idea of being that, okay, you walk in there to to actually talk to the stone cutters, and you come across this way to the loading zone, right? So what I'll do is I'll set up an area here that's a lot of a lot of storage, a lot of I don't know piles of stuff, something like that. We're gonna use spruce here for the floors. Right, to give it a, a little bit of a a different look right from being from being inside with the, the stonemasons to being outside on on the storage dock so I think that's most of the idea though actually as I'm thinking about it maybe I want to continue the the sandstone instead of the spruce because I was thinking spruce like regular docks that we might have made of wood but these are stone cutters. Having the stuff all here made of stone kind of makes sense. It kind of fits the theme, right? So I, I think I might actually go that route. All right, so this is the idea for this section of the, the, the well, wall building. I, I think I need to uh, maybe deal with this in some way, but for now I, it's okay. But the idea is you come out of the shop and out here into the loading zone. Now I did decide to continue the walls this way and this way. And I think I am gonna uh, probably add a little bit of a ceiling here, but this section is gonna be open to, well, not the sky, but to the cave anyway. And yeah, this is gonna be where barges and stuff come to pick up their cargo, okay? That's gonna be great. Now, what I would need to do is figure out how that actually happens. And I think what I might do is build a, a sort of a crane, something maybe hanging down here. I'm not entirely sure yet. I need to think about that. But then out this way, I think I want to build some stacks of terracotta and glazed terracotta, right? Bricks, right? This is the, well, this is the pile of stuff getting ready to be loaded. So I think that's gonna go there, and then this is gonna be a, a drawbridge. So, you know, as a work in progress, it's okay. We're in that, that weird, awkward phase that every build goes through. It's okay. Most builds have a weird, awkward phase. Yeah, you know, sometimes they even grow out of it. Okay, I think this is gonna be the basic area that I'm looking for. It's sort of the outside delivery area, and I've got a lot of details to put in, right? But this is basically where it's going to be. Now I want to pile up some terracotta and some brick and stuff over here, right? This is just, Hey, this is out here. Maybe it's on display. It's waiting for, for a pickup, something like that. And I think I want to build a barge down here, but let's get all of this stuff. Everything that's not skulk. Let's tear that out, get the skulk in place. And that way I can build a little barge on top of it. I think that's going to be 
I think that's going to be cool. Got ourselves a nice little barge going on here. It's got a little, just taking on some, uh, some brick. Obviously, I've got some barrels here for other storage. And you now here's a good spot for your, for your uh, person to be standing, manning the rudder, um, motor perhaps, something. Whatever it is, this has got a nice, sort of a nice little look to it. I think this is, I think this is good. And I'll, as I said, I think I'll put a little crane of some sort here so that uh, it looks like it was just loading the brick down onto the barge. In fact, I even have a design for a loading claw, which would be kind of cool. So, sweet. All right. That's, uh, hey, shall we build a loading claw? <laughs> Let's build a loading claw. That is looking really cool. Got our nice little claw bringing some brick either up or down, however you want to look at it. Got chains going and then our whole crane, right? It's got this log that slides back and forth coming across so it can go you know, in and out that way as necessary. Now, okay, could it, <laughs> it doesn't go th the length back and forth across the ship, but that's okay. This is good. I like this. I like this. Oh, it's cool. And what's cool about this is now that I have this crane in place, that will help define what the, uh, roof of this building does okay because obviously whatever's happening up there now has to shape up and around that crane oh that is cool we're starting to see some really cool character happening here we've got this this boat now taking up some brick we've got a nice little uh walkway coming over here yeah, okay some campfires might have been good for that too but hey i like what this is doing and yeah, so you know, you can you can now walk out from the boat, right? Now in theory, this would this would be a temporary plank or something that might pull back. Um right, and this said this oh, I love the way this boat is looking, and we've got our crane up top. Oh yeah, so much life now is happening in this area, and I love it. Uh let me just close off that fence. Yeah, and then plus some of this piles of stuff waiting for for pickup hey this is this is doing cool stuff that's not too bad for a a raised bridge right the idea that this would go up and then come back down now it does look a little bit long to be honest um but i think it's okay maybe what i could do is yeah, because obviously with the angles, it's uh, basically one and a half blocks per block. So even though these are only three blocks going up, it looks like five, right? So it, and it's on both sides, but it's only a seven block wide bridge. So yeah, those definitely look like they are too long. So maybe a little bit of, of extra Extra work here. Might be able to clean that up just a touch. So I was thinking about this a little bit, and I th the bridge length here is now looking good, but it's feeling a little awkward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these grindstones here like this. Right? So what this ends up looking like is a hinge in a lot of ways, right? So that hinge is attached to the bridge, so as this rolls out and down... Um, it, the whole thing kind of goes. Now, the reality is, uh, I think this is actually really funky, but we'll, we'll go with it. I, I don't know how the technology here works, but all in all, I think it'll be okay, right? Sure, I'm sure this will be totally fine. Yeah, this is a better, this is a better light, I think. We've got some nice brick walls coming. I do still have the trap doors and stuff, but to bring in the teal. But now it doesn't blend in quite as much to the fence and the rest of the stuff. And 
if I turn off, turn off the gamma override, there's still a fair amount of light out here, which is definitely a good thing. Now, as I said, I should put some lanterns or something on the, the barge, uh, but otherwise, I think this area is really starting to come together. And there's the roof. It's, um, okay, it's a little bit plain, and there are parts of it, I'm not totally thrilled with these cutouts here on the top, but, you know, I'm going to go with it. Now, what's fun is I actually have different angles on the different sides of the roof. So, on this side, where the front gate is, right, or the front gate, front door, right, it angles a little less steeply because it's a slab growth or th uh, angle up thingy my bobber than it does on this wider side which is stairs and that was sort of fun to, to uh, bring those together and then of course on this side over here where you can get into the dock and where the crane is it's just flat so you can see it just sort of sweeps over and then kind of stops and i think that's kind of cool yeah, I tried doing some different things. I tried adding some decorations and stuff up here. Like I tried having some cutouts and some different things. It just didn't work. So we are just plain spruce, which, you know, okay. I like spruce. Spruce is good. So that's what we've gone with. And I think, I think the roof works out pretty well. You know, and you come over here where the, where this uh, little barge is docked and yeah, I think this works. I think it's, I think this is going to be fairly nice. And that is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.